Which one do you think came first? The keyboard or the computer? The answer may surprise you. The keyboard beat personal computers by a whopping 100 years. The first personal computer was created about 40 years ago, but the keyboard has been around for even 100 years longer. The first QWERTY keyboard was designed by a clever newspaper editor from Milwaukee named Christopher Latham Scholes as part of the first typewriter in 1867. That is just two years after the end of the Civil War. A weapons manufacturer named E. Remington & Sons was looking for new ways to make money after the war. They purchased the first typewriter and began selling it a few years later. The QWERTY keyboard was born. The name QWERTY comes from the placement of the first six keys on the keyboard. Have you ever wondered why the order of the keys is not alphabetical? It really looks like a mess, as if someone jumbled them together just to make it harder to find each key. In fact, the QWERTY layout was very carefully designed to prevent the mechanical parts from jamming together. You see, typewriters, unlike modern keyboards, use large mechanical parts to press ink down on paper. If someone pressed down keys that were next to each other on the typewriter, the parts would sometimes get jammed. Jamming is no longer an issue today because modern devices do not have the same clunky mechanical parts. More recently, some inventors have designed new clever layouts, such as Dvorak and Colmac, that claim to make your hands do less work. Yet, QWERTY remains the most popular keyboard layout in English-speaking countries. Isn't it interesting how a solution to a mechanical problem from 140 years ago determines how we use technology today?